study looking at our coastal ecosystems started way back in 2006, when one of the authors, Zach Meunier, was in middle school. But when Meunier got to Oregon State in 2017, he knew that a 15-year-long study would yield some interesting results. So that gives us a really good picture of how the species changed over time. Meunier, then a PhD student, took over the research, which looked at how marine conditions were affecting ecosystems on the rocky shores of Northern California and Washington. And the study period from 2006 to 2020 was eventful. There had been a mass die-off of sea stars due to this outbreak of sea star wasting disease that occurred in 2014. And then right after that, we saw very warm water in our rocky habitat systems. The disappearance of sea stars had cascading effects. The adult sea stars are very important predators in this system. They're like the wolves of the intertidal. Animals that sea stars eat, invertebrates like mussels and barnacles, exploded and took over some areas, which were previously dominated by kelp. There are winners and losers. And in this case, the winners are species like barnacles and mussels and other sessile invertebrates. And the losers are the, the kelp and the sea star. Interestingly, Meunier found that even after some sea stars returned and ocean temps came back to normal, the kelp ecosystems didn't bounce back. And we found that in many of our study sites, there was no resistance and even lower recovery, uh, meaning low resiliency. And there are lessons to be taken from the study for those of us who live on land, too. There's evidence that both the marine heat wave and the sea star disease were made worse by climate change. But heat waves and disease outbreaks aren't unique to the ocean. And climate change is likely to increase stressors on both the marine environment and the terrestrial. Meunier said there isn't much that humans could have done to prevent the marine heat wave or the disease that wiped out sea stars. But we can work to prevent them from happening again. The only things that can really do this is a systemic global change to reverse carbon emissions and to do our part individually and as a society to, to combat the effects of climate change. Kale Williams, KGW News.